My name is Parker Morris and I'm from Dallas, Texas. I attend Full Sail on campus and I'm in the film degree program. In this podcast, I'll be talking about how technology and computer hardware and computer software affects changes in the film industry. Then I'll also be showing some examples of that technology and how it's used in film today. If you don't know, most cameras and camcorders have changed from being analog to digital. This means instead of recording images onto tape, they are now stored as data. In fact, before most video cameras were fully digital, they still had USB plugins to digitize and stream the footage off of your tapes onto your computer's hard drive. However, we are now at a point where most cameras and camcorders record their data straight to a memory card or hard disk within the device. Even top-of-the-line cameras used by major motion picture companies work in this way. In a digital world, the demand for high-end computers is rising. Computers with sufficient RAM and processing speed is a must for film editors and special effects designers. Also, in professional standards, large terabyte hard drives are needed to store all captured video, especially in high-definition formats because of the large amount of space they take up before compression. Computer software in the film industry mainly deals with programs related to motion graphic effects and editing. There are a variety of softwares out there for things like this, such as Avid, Adobe After Effects, and Final Cut Pro. These advanced programs, or software, require you to also have updated hardware to match. So in this way, as technology advances in both hardware and software, the film industry is required to keep up.